what what the very very next step is is again the previous video was our pixel installing our pixel that's 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 number one for sure the next thing we're going to do here is is step two and that's to create our custom audiences and all we're going to do is we're going to simply create three audiences so this is very very important for facebook advertising and again that's what we spent you know that's why i spent you know a good time yesterday speaking about and the day before speaking about is the fact that you can't just run one ad and just think that a bunch of people are going to register you can it's not going to work you, it's not it doesn't work that way because you have to continue to run ads weekly whether it's weekly whether it's monthly whether it's every few days whatever because it's all about getting this pay, getting this pixel data. So now that you have the pixel on the page, which you did not before, now that you have the pixel on the page, now this pixel can start getting data, meaning Facebook is now going to start tracking who lands here. Facebook is going to start tracking who lands on the thank you page. Facebook is going to start tracking who lands on the sales page. So now these are three very important audiences that we need to create. We need to specifically name these audiences. And that's what we're going to do right now, because as it comes down to, or as, as, as you start running future ads. So for example, let me show you the newsfeed and we'll just, you know, let me just show you a random ad. As I'm looking through the newsfeed and just scrolling through and seeing what everyone's up to and seeing, you know, what, what people are posting. Here's what's going on. I'm scrolling through the news feed. I'm scrolling through the news feed. And then all of a sudden, let's see if we can find a sponsored ad. Oh. I don't know what that was, but. I don't know. So here's Ted. Here's Ted. Okay. So here's a sponsored ad. Here's his video. What he's doing right now. So it's, it's, it's a one minute and 18 second video. What he's doing right now, as, I, as we went over yesterday, is he's creating an audience of those who are watching it. That's number one. That's number one. Those who watched it for 20 seconds, those who sat here and watched it for 25 seconds, he is creating a custom audience. That's what we're going to go over right now is we're going to set up custom audiences. So, so one type of custom audience are going to be those who watch your video, which we're going to set that up right now. The other custom audience are those who click on the ad and come to the landing page. This is his landing page. So as you can tell, Right up here, he has his Facebook pixel and he is tracking me. And he's not just tracking me with one pixel. He's tracking me with two. This dude's smart. So he's getting multiple data points on me and, yeah. and he's collecting more data on me. So all it is, is the fact that this guy's running an ad. I saw the video. He created a custom audience. I clicked on the video. I came to his landing page. He created another custom audience. Now, this is as far as I'm going to go, but if I were to click on the button and enter my information, in fact, let's just do it. If I come over here and enter my information, now I go to his thank you page, which is your thank you page. So mm -hmm. I entered my, my name and email on his information. I come to his thank you page. This is his thank you page. And so as I come over here, look what happens. He is pixeling me. And right here, he is creating a custom audience, and he is name, naming this audience leads. You are a lead now. So, so mm -hmm. I am a lead now, and he is, he is specifically categorizing that in Facebook. So now, when he goes runs future ads, he can now exclude people who have landed on this page. He can now exclude them from seeing future ads. And he simply ex excludes them by, by excluding the lead audience. So that right there is as basic as it gets and as powerful as it gets. That's all it's about is tracking who's landing on these pages um, so you can, you, can, you can run relevant ads to the right people and not spend an arm and a leg. You know, you don't want to keep running ads to people who have already landed on this page. So if this guy was smart, which he is, this guy's a, a big a big guy, what's going to happen is he should now exclude me. I should not see any more Facebook ads from this guy for a while pertaining to this product, pertaining to this product that he's offering right here. I should not see another Facebook ad regarding this product for a long time because he's going to exclude me. He's going to exclude me from seeing these types of ads again. 
Now I'm already in his email list. Now what he's going to spend time doing is emailing me. So no more running an ad to David. David is already a lead. Now he's going to do his best to put together his email automation. That's Kartra. That's the email automation, your sequences. Now he's going to do his very best to send me the best relevant emails to get me to buy there. No more on Facebook. Now it's via email and that's where he's going to make his money. You know, so, so that's why this guy, what is he offering? He offered a free book. That was his whole, his whole opt-in was a free book. But as I land, as I opt into his free book and I come to the thank you page, it's him on video selling me a $19 product. You see that? So with, with you in the beginning, we were offering the ebook, but once they download the ebook, we want to take them to a thank you page where we can sell them something. And if we're not going to sell them something right here and there on the thank you page, the thank you page better be set up to schedule an appointment. So that's Christy on, on video. Hey guys, thank you so much for opting in and downloading my free ebook. Let me tell you a little bit more about, about myself and what you can expect in the book. And by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call where I give you all my secret strategies, click the button. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule, schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So, so as people opt in, yes, how did he get my attention? Because he gave me a free book. But once I'm in, what are you selling me next? You better be selling me something next because this is what's going to pay for your ad costs. This so, is so, so, you know. so in this case, he's selling me a $19 product, which he's probably selling a shitload of those per day, right? Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. if he wasn't, again, again, if he wasn't selling me a product, then he's shooting for an appointment. And that would be you, for example. You're shooting for the appointment. Hey, guys, this is Christy. I'd love to talk to you. I offer a free 60-minute strategy call where I give you every tip and trick regarding public speaking, and I'm going to turn you into the next Oprah. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's what it would be all about. And then once you get them on the phone because they scheduled a call, then I'm selling you something, right? Mm -hmm. So, so, so. So these are, it's all about audiences. This guy has me in an audience now. I'm a lead to this guy. He's a, he, very specific. So now let's go into your, your pages and let's simply create a custom audience. We're going to create four of them real quick. We're going to create one around your video. So the video that, that, that you just put up, we're going to make sure that we create a custom audience around people who are watching that video. Because right now it's just on the page. But once we start running Facebook ads, we're going to get thousands of people to watch that video. We want to start putting X amount in a custom audience. So if it's a two minute video, what we'll want to do is create a custom audience of those who watch at least, at least 30 seconds of it. If you sit there Can and I watch. Ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, I need to make change on that video. If okay. We you got to do that now. You got to, you oh, actually, you don't got to do it this second. But do it before before we run the ad. Okay. And you're okay. gonna come over here to your page, click on the three dots, and then just click on click on edit. So so you'll see it right here. Would it allow me to take out the video? No, you can't take out the video. You're gonna have to delete the delete it, delete the post if you want to completely take out the video. Okay. Okay. But okay. but if you want to do that, do that. Just do that, and then let me know when it's up and ready to go. But but okay. if you need to edit the post, then click on edit. And, and what you want for sure is you want the title, which is going to be the headline. So let me, let me, let me show you this part real quick. Oh, let me, let me I show did, you this I part. Do a good title. I use the title of uh, the web, the masterclass. No, that's fine. That's fine. You can do whatever you want, but let me show you wh where, where that shows. So as okay. I come to the newsfeed, and I'm scrolling through the news feed and I'm just seeing what everyone's posting. Here goes a sponsored ad. So this is a video. There's the text. There's the video. Here is the title. This is the headline. Ask me anything dash live Q and A. So that right there, when you come into your video and you edit it, that's this right here. Okay. Okay. So awesome. that's this. Okay. Okay. But Make that's too long. That's too long because if you look at it, look, this is how long it is. But when you look at the room that we have, we only have, I think it cuts off like oh, right here. Okay. So I can just say, uh, speak like a, a story, uh, storytelling for speakers or speak like a pro. I don't know. 
Yeah, I would I would go I would maybe storytelling for speakers. I would maybe take off like maybe maybe take off this. Okay. And maybe put it down. Storytelling for speakers want to speak like a pro. So, so there we go. So how to create a story that pays and slays. So that that's nice and shorter. And, and okay. again, that's going to be right here. Ask me anything live Q and a that's going to be right there. So I like it this way better. Storytelling okay. for speakers want to want to speak like a pro look no further. Um, click on learn more now, click on learn more now to register for my free master web class for my oh, free master web I'm, class. I'm Perfect. sorry. Okay. And then, and then what you can always do is you can always change the thumbnail if you want to change the thumbnail um, and, and look for one that, you know, your eye is not closed or anything like that. You know what I mean? Oh. The, like this is a good really? one, you know, so you can always, this is a good one, you know, and you can always change this, but I'll put that one for right now. But, but that's, so all I do is all I got to do is just is just refresh it, and then that update should should reflect. So I don't know what to do with my eyes. Sometimes you get closed. I have to be very watchful of my eyes now. No, it has nothing to do with that. That it's just the thumbnail. You can change the thumbnail. No big deal. Stop overthinking this. Like you're 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 a video pro. Like stop no. overthinking it. Like you got to just get it done. Get it get it done and get them out. So here we go, storytelling for speakers. So now it's updated. So look, there's the thumbnail. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're good. So now here's what we're gonna do. So here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create, we're gonna create, we're gonna create um, four custom audiences, okay? Huh. One custom okay. audience is gonna be around people watching this video. The other custom audience are people that land on the landing page. The other custom, the third custom audience are those who land on the thank you page. The fourth custom audience are those who land on the, on the sales page, okay? okay? Now, these are going to be very, very specific. These are going to be people who land on the sales page but haven't purchased. Okay. These are people who have landed on the thank you page. These are people who have landed on the landing page but have not opted in. Okay. So, okay. so very specific. People who landed here but haven't registered. People who landed here. And then people who have landed here but haven't purchased. Okay. Very specific. So now what we got to do, it's actually five, five custom audiences. What we need is we need, which you don't even have now that I'm noticing it. What we need is we need the confirmation. We need the thank you for purchasing page. Isn't it this one? Um, uh, can you, uh, thank you. T Y is thank you. Can you? No, that's for it? registering. That's for registering. But oh. what about when I purchase and I put my oh. credit card, right? Yeah. So, so just for now, just for just for now, I'm gonna just clone this one. And and just for now, you can always change it later. But just for the this 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 tutorial, I'm gonna just do it this one eight week course. Um, and this one's gonna be um, 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 um purchase purchase confirmation purchase confirmation so eight week course pur purchase confirmation um do you have a category is, is are they in a category or no category what? okay so look so eight week course purchase confirmation so again when i come into a page for the very first time especially in this case because i cloned it when you clone a page everything comes over you're just duplicating the entire page everything in it the facebook pixel the title of the tab, you cloned it. You literally duplicated it. So because I duplicated this page, I want to make sure that I come in here and change out some information. I want to change out the title of the page because I cloned the, um, I cloned this one. So because I cloned it, it the tab is going to read eight week course sales page. Well, I don't want it to read sales page. I need it to read purchase confirmation or, or purchase confirmed or something like that. You know, like, like we want to change that up a little bit. And again, you don't have to use this page. I'm just using it as an example. Just take everything that I'm doing here and just go create a whole new page if you want. But, but the thank you for purchasing that page is the most important. 
because you need to track that through Facebook and you want to be able to exclude that audience from seeing future ads. They already purchased. So you need to be able to exclude them. So the pixel is going to go on this page as well. So let's actually the pixel is already on the page. So look, because I cloned it, we come over here, we click on settings. And if we go down to the tracking code, that pixel should already be here yeah. because we cloned it. So let's come down here make sure it's there. There's your pixel right there. So we're good. But again, what I want to do is I want to change the title. I don't need the title reading sales page. This is purchase confirmed. Purchase confirmation. So, so that's fine. You can always change it later. I'm just giving you an example. Re-edit it to whatever the heck you want it to read. But this is the example. So now, now that I have that, so let's let's save progress. And I'm going to publish live and I'm going to change out that link. So let's go to the, um, the um, let's click on this one to the left, get the page link. We're going to, we're going to change out this. We're going to name this one purchase confirmation. And again, you can change all this later. So that's that. Now, if I open up this page. So now my pixel is on it. And so you see here at the top, the tab, the tab re reads purchase confirmation, right? You see the tab? Yes. Okay. So now my pixel is on it. And now what we got to do is we have to create some custom audiences. We have to let Facebook know who the type of people are that are landing on these pages. Okay. So the pixel, the pixel just starts to track. But, the, but, but, but Facebook doesn't know anything else other than people are landing here. People view the page. That's all the pixel does is, is let Facebook know that people view the page. But it's up to us to go the extra step and start naming the type of people who viewed this page. That's the custom audience. And again, the, 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 the power behind the custom audience is the fact that those are audiences we need to retarget. Or those are audiences that we need to exclude from seeing future ads. That's what these custom audiences are all about. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create five. We're going to create one landing page, two, thank you page, three, the um, sales page, four, the purchase confirmation page, and then five, the, the video, the Facebook ad video. Okay. So those are the audiences that we're going to, that we're going to create. So all we're going to do is come over here. Back to the ads manager. Again, make sure that we're in the right account. That's the right one. We're going to click on these dots to the left. We're going to go to audiences. So each time you have, I have a new ad, all this has to be done. No. This is all a one-time thing. However, however, as you go and create more pages, so let's get out of here. As you go and create another page, yes, that's a separate page. So mm -hmm. you're going to take that page, add your Facebook pixel. If you didn't clone it and it's a whole new page, you'll create that, that new page, add your Facebook pixel, change the, the title in the tab, and then take that link and go create a custom audience. If that audience is important. If that audience is important, if you're running ads, if that audience is important, then create a custom audience. But the pixel for sure should be on every single page. But custom audiences do not need to be set up around every page. So for example, like, I don't know, a random, a random page inside of my funnel. Maybe not a custom audience is not important. Maybe a custom audience isn't important, but the pixel is. Put the pixel on the page. Like maybe, maybe the custom audience isn't important, but again, to tell you the truth, everything that you're doing, there should be a custom audience around every page. Yes, for sure. Because again, what we're going to do here, I'm putting a custom audience around the video. I'm putting a custom audience around the landing page, around the thank you page, around the sales page, around the purchase page. But what about people that are in my emails that I'm also having them click and they go to a Kartra page and they watch a video, just like you and I, what we set up, you know, a couple months ago with the email sequence and you had 10 videos, you know, mm -hmm. on a Kartra page. All mm -hmm. of those Kartra pages should have your Facebook pixel 
all of those Kartra pages should be set up as a custom audience. And what we would name that audience is email sequence. So anyone who's in my email sequence that are watching the videos on my Kartra pages, I could create a custom audience around all those people. So it's up to you. It's how much data you want. It's how much, it's how, it's how, it's how detailed you want your Facebook advertising to be. And it's very simple. Like it's very basic. Like it's, it's, it's simple. Like this is not a lot of work at all. Once you know how to do it, this is what you're going to, you're going to be excited to do. You're going to want to start tracking anyone who's in your world, sure. you know? So, so that's just going to give you, that's just going to give you the data to run the most um, um, relevant ads and, and not have to spend an arm and a leg. So, so here's what we have over here. We have a few different audiences, scheduled appointments, um, ebook leads, ebook landing page visitors. And then, and then this is the one that watched your other video. So here's what we're going to do. We got one, two, three, four, and then the video. Let's do the video first. Let's just come in here. We're going to create audience. And again, we're going to always make sure we're in the right account to the right. We're going to custom audience. And we're going to, the first one we're going to do is we're going to do video. So let's just set up the video, the custom audience around the video. We're going to click on video. We're going to hit next. And then we're going to simply choose it right here. So this is going to be people who watched. What I always do is people who watched at least 25%. Three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds ain't enough. But if you sit there and you watch 25%, you watch 25 seconds of my one minute video. Like that's a good amount of time. I'm going to put you in, audience, in an audience and I'm going to show you another ad. Yes. So, so 25% is, is, is good. 365, go ahead and leave that. Um, so once I go, once I go and choose the percentage, all I'm going to do is choose video and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the right Facebook page. So this is the one choose chosen path media. No, no, or, no, no, no. Yeah, see, exactly. The other one. See, I know, yeah. I know, I know. Just, I'm just giving oh my you, God. you what, don't freak <laughs> out. Like calm down. Like you got to get the anxiety down. Like you got to calm down. This is not, this is not <laughs> no. a big deal. So, so right here, it's right there. There's your name. So all you're going to do is you're going to find that recent video and, and, and you can, you, you can look at it by the date, because if you're wearing the same blouse in all of them, it's going to be like, shit, which one is it? You know, so, so make sure you just go off the date. So that's the one right there, the January 9th. And then all we're going to do is scroll down and we're going to click on this blue button. And then we're going to name the audience. And what I do is I always, I always name it the percentage. So this is going to be, um, um, and then, and then also the name of the video. So why don't you name it? What do you, what do you want to name it to? So, you know, same for, thing. Huh? What is, is the same thing, how to create, how to create a story, how, how to create a story, a that, story that pays and slays, how to create a story that pays, pays and slays. Okay. And always in the future, try not to make this any more longer than that. So if you have oh. to abbreviate it, then abbreviate it. But don't, this is not a, this is not a long, oh, you know, okay. name. Try to make it as short as possible, just so okay. you can know which one it is. And then you go 25%, 25%. That's, that's the percentage that we're saving is, is that we're creating is, is 25%. Okay. So description, we don't need that. Create audience. There's your first audience. So now as you go and run, as you go and run future ads, you'll always want to retarget this audience. You'll always want to retarget that audience. So now that's audience number one. Now let's come in here, custom audience, and let's do website. Now we're going to create custom audiences around the website. So we always want to make sure that the right pixel is there. We always want to make sure that the, the dot is green. And then down here, we're going to go down, not all website visitors. We're going to scroll down. We're going to hit the drop down. And we're going to go to people who visited specific pages. I need specific pages. So up here, this is a specific page. This right here is the landing page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to double click, double click up here. And all I want is the URL minus the HTTPS. I don't need any of that. I just need Christy and on. That's all I need. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, so I'm going to go and this this retention, this is based on what you're trying to do. Like if you're running, if you're running, if you're running a time sensitive type of campaign, which in your case you are, then mm -hmm. then maybe 
retargeting people who watched it in the last 30 days would be good. You could take this up to 180, but retargeting people who watched your, 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 or who visited this page, maybe, maybe three months ago or four months ago, those people might not remember you. Like they visited your page four months ago. They saw it one time they left, they never came back. They may not remember that. But, but if I'm staying top of mind and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm creating an audience around people who have seen my page at least within the last 30 days or in the last seven days, if you saw my page in the last seven days, that's a custom audience. And I'm going to always make sure I show you more stuff because you recently saw my page. Or I can go the last 14 days. People who saw my website in the last 14 days, put them in this audience and those people only. And now... It might still be top of mind or maybe 10 days. It might still be top of mind. I'll still remember something that, that I visited maybe 10 days ago, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's something fresh, still top of mind. And that's the audience. I so see. you don't want to go too long back, okay. you know, okay. try to keep it fresh 10 days, 30 days, you know, that that's always good. And so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go 30 days. Anyone who has visited this page in the last 30 days, that's this audience. So now again, what I did is I copied the URL. All I'm going to do is come down here and paste it. And when I paste it, I always want to click on the blue. When I paste it, I'm going to see a drop down in blue. Always click on that blue. And there you go there. So now here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to be very, very detailed. We're not just creating an audience of those who land on the landing page. What we are creating an audience of is people who land on the landing page, but never landed over here. So never, this is very they specific. Registered. They never registered, right? They never registered. So here's what we do. We take the link from the thank you page and we come back over here. So now I want to refine it. I want to exclude, exclude. Again, we go specific. We follow the same days that we have up here, 30, 30. And now I'm going to paste in. I'm going to click the blue and I'm going to name this audience. This is landing page views only, only, only. These are people that never registered. They only landed on the page. And, and we'll name this, we'll name this, we, we want to be very specific storytelling storytelling landing page views only so so there are people who have landed on the, on the landing page but never landed on the thank you page okay so we create audience and there goes an audience that you'll always 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 want to retarget this audience right here you'll always want to retarget in all of your future ads people who land on the page but have not registered people who have watched 25% of that recent video, always retarget those two audiences. The next audience we're going to create are people who actually registered. So now we're going to come to, we're going to take away the landing page. We're going to now come over here to the thank you page. Everything except for the HTTPS. We're going to grab all that. We're going to come over here, make sure that that's our pixel. We're going to hit the drop down, go to specific. We're going to leave it on 30. And we're going to paste in, we're going to click on the blue, and we're going to name this one Storytelling story telling Leads. These are storytelling leads. These are people who have opted in. We don't need to exclude anyone. Actually, you know what we do? We do. We want to exclude. We want to exclude. We're going to hit the drop down, go to specific. We'll leave it at 30. We want to exclude people who have purchased. So these are simply leads. These are people who only opted in. And we're going to come back over here and we'll be specific with the title. So let's go back to the, to the title. Um, storytelling leads only. They have not purchased. So we're going to exclude. We'll exclude. We'll paste in the purchase confirmation. We'll hit the blue. Okay. So we're creating an audience of people who have registered who have became a lead. We're excluding anyone who has landed on the purchase confirmation and we're naming it storytelling leads only. They haven't purchased, okay? 
So we'll create audience and there goes that audience. Next, what we're going to do, custom audience, website. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that's green. We're going to come down to specific. We'll leave it at 30. And now what we want to do is we want to get the people, create an audience of everyone who is landing on the sales page, but have not purchased. So these are people who landed here on the, on the sales page. We're going to come down here. We're going to paste in that link, hit the blue. And now what we're going to do is we're going to exclude. They landed on the sales page, but they never landed on the purchase confirmation. Okay. Mm, they never good. landed there. So we're going to exclude anyone who has landed there. They're not in this audience. They're only people. These are only people. Audience name, story telling storytelling um let's go with story telling atc storytelling add to cart that's the sales page add to cart that's the sales page actually let me let me put it in your terms so you really know storytelling um sales page sales page only only sales page only they have not purchased okay Sales page only. So that's that. That's that. They were excluding anyone who has landed on the purchase confirmation. We create audience. Now there goes that audience. So we hit done. And then there goes that audience. Now our last audience, we're going to create this hit website again. And now what we're going to do, make sure that that's green. We're going to go back down to specific. We'll leave it at 30. We'll hit contains. Um, and then we're going to get the link for the purchase confirmation. Now we're going to bring that link over here. We don't need to exclude anyone because this is the end of the funnel. So we don't need to exclude anyone. We're going to name this one story telling, damn it, storytelling, storytelling, um, um, course, storytelling, course students purchased storytelling course students and again you can rename this you can rename okay. it yeah okay, you can always fine. rename it storytelling course students purchased create audience okay so now what do we have what did we just do we created an audience around everyone who's watching 25 percent. we created an audience of everyone who lands on the page only an audience of the leads only they have not purchased People who land on the sales page only, they have not purchased. And then an audience of those who have purchased. Okay. So in the future, you'll always retarget. Let's just say ad number two and on. You'll always retarget 25 percenters. You'll always retarget landing page views. You'll mm -hmm. always retarget. Um, 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 yeah, you'll always retarget those two. And then, and then now... And then also, you may always want to retarget sales page. They, they landed on the sales page, but again, those are people who already registered. If I'm on oh. your sales page, I already registered. So maybe you ex maybe you exclude, you know that 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 audience from seeing any 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 upfront ad. But but you always want to retarget that audience with a different ad. So if I already registered, I'm already a lead. So I'm already I'm already on a lead. I, I'm in this audience. I'm already a lead. I registered or I'm a lead but I haven't purchased. I clicked on the sales page. So now I'm in this audience, but I haven't purchased. So that's a whole nother ad. Maybe you run an ad next week. Hey guys, this is Christy. I just wanted to send out a message. I know a lot of you guys took a look at my program. I know a lot of you guys registered for my webinar. And I know, and I, and I know for a fact, all of you even landed on my sales page. Let me show you some testimonials of what some of my core students are going through and what they're experiencing and how fired up everyone is. I can run a Facebook ad and show maybe a testimony and show some credibility, some social proof. And that's the video ad. And I can take that ad and run it to everyone who has landed on my sales page, but haven't purchased yet. Mm -hmm. So now it's not an ad that I'm running to get you to register. You already registered. It's an ad that I'm running specifically to people who have landed on the sales page, but haven't purchased. That's a different ad. You know what? What I just realized. Remember the the ad of Ted Magrat? Mag Mag yeah. That we looked at. 
I see now um, the video, that video he was doing, just what you just explaining, make me think about it. That's why what he was doing, he was using those videos to attract more leads. Well, yeah, but but at the same time, he's he, yeah, and 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 exactly when you put it when you when you when you go into further detail regarding that. It's because he's tracking everybody. So he's he's creating audiences of around everyone who's watching the video. And that's why you keep seeing more videos of him because he's retargeting everyone who's watching 25%. Everyone who's watching 50%. Everyone who's watching the whole damn video. He All he's doing is he has audiences and he's retargeting them. That's it. Yeah. And that's why you look at it, you look at it and you're like, damn, I see this guy everywhere. Every time I'm on Facebook, every time I'm on YouTube, I keep seeing his damn ads. Well, it's because you're watching him because he has you in a custom audience. And now he's just simply retargeting everyone who is still, who still hasn't opted in or he's retargeting everyone who hasn't purchased. But the moment you purchase, you're not seeing any more ads. The moment you opt in, you're not seeing any more ads because now he's excluding that audience from seeing more ads. Yeah, but but again, yeah. but again, it goes both ways. I'm going to exclude you or I'm going to show you a different type of ad. So, for example, with purchased, purchased, everyone who lands in this audience are people who purchased. Mm -hmm. I could turn around tomorrow and run an ad specifically to them. Hey, guys, this is David. I am so fired up. Thank you so much for enrolling and, and investing in your future. I wanted to send out a quick message regarding all of our no, all of our new course students and kind of give you the the agenda and what to expect. That could be a freaking powerful ad that you target to everyone on Facebook who is your student. Wow. Right? Now 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 you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. You wouldn't have to do that because you have everyone on an email list now and you could just send that video out via email. So you wouldn't have to run the ad like that, but I'm just saying you could. Uh -huh. Now, the purchased uh -huh. and the leads, those audiences are mainly important for excluding, for excluding from seeing future ads. That's why those are the most important. But at the same time, again, on the flip side, as I mentioned, you can always run an ad talking to those people specifically. Send them an email. They're on your purchase. They're, they're already a client. They're now on your email list. Send them an email. And also, why not spend 10 bucks and send them a Facebook video ad? Why not? Mm. You know, so now you're, you're going to be able to have, have all this data um, to really leverage Facebook advertising. So that right there is custom audiences. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Okay, I, I'm definitely going to watch this video over and over and over again. Perfect. So, That's um, custom audiences. Yeah.